so today we're going to go through the unboxing of your Flex Ultrasound that you just got. So we're going to open this up. This is our external Plano case. In there, depending on the package you got, you might have a case, you might have multiple probes. We're just going to go through these bit by bit. But if you just got the Ultrasound, there's an extra piece of foam just for protection in there. Feel free to take that out. You have a little more space in your case for other stuff. So you have your Flex Ultrasound. We'll go through the buttons and different things on that. Also in your case, you're going to have your probes. If you got multiple probes, they're going to be um, just in bags like this with covers on them. If you got just one probe, we will go ahead and pre-install. I'll show you how that's done here in just a moment. You have a car charger. You have a part one of your ultrasound charger. These are like computer chargers, so you do need to plug that in tight. This comes apart here. There is a little light when you plug it into the wall. This green light will turn on, so make sure when you go to charge it that that green light is on. There's your wall lens. It's a two-prong. You have two straps, so if you want to hang the flex either from a stand or over your chest, kind of crisscross over your chest, there are two straps and lots of different mounting options there. There is a USB thumb drive with some more training material. There's also lots of great training material on our newsletter and our YouTube page as well. You have keys for your case and then extra rings. These S carabiners are removable and if you want to put there's rings on here, you can put rings back on depending on the mounting option you want for your flex. But those are both in there. And then you have your manuals, your quick start guide. There's a bovine fetal aging table and some various settings charts depending on which probes you got. So right now we're going to go ahead and go through your actual ultrasound. So a lot of times there's a screen protector on your thing just for shipping. Just go ahead and take that off. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, you can leave it on if you want a little longer, but it's just like the screen protector on your phone. So it's up to you when you take it off, but be careful when you're washing, don't get chemicals or anything under there while that screen protector is still there. So on the front of your machine, I'm going to go through the buttons here in just a moment, but we're going to go through installing your probe. On the top of your machine here, this is your probe connector. This is probably the weakest part of the machine, so you need to be very gentle and careful with this. Part of the benefit of having a multi-probe machine is you're able to change those probes, obviously, whereas a fixed probe gives you a little bit more durability. But this is um, a connection point. There's lots of pins, lots of electricity, so just be careful with that. Make sure you don't get moisture in there. Keep it covered if you can, or when you're storing it, keep your probe installed. Right here, you have your power connector. So this is where you're going to plug your charger in. This is our Limo port. So if you purchased goggles or you want to go out to our external monitor or to any VGA, you can get a cable and go right there. If you're not using it, just plug that little tab in, squish it in. Um, you have a power button, a freeze button, and an exam button. And then there's some lights on top here that will indicate whether it's charging or on, things like that. We do have more videos also up on YouTube that will go through the buttonology and settings more in depth. So take a look at those if you want to visit that a little bit more. But as far as taking your probe out, plugging it in for the first time, you've got the end of your probe. It's probably hard to see on here, but there is a little slot. And on your ultrasound, there is a little line. So you need to line the slot up with the line and it will just gingerly press down and then you will twist that collar. It's a pretty tight connection so you do want to make sure that collar is screwed all the way down. That's just giving it extra protection so if there is a yank or a pull, things like that, um, hopefully it keeps it as st stable as it can. So once your probe is screwed in, make sure it's screwed all the way down. Go ahead and turn your machine on. Make sure whenever you are changing probes that that power is turned off. You always want to change probes or plug probes in with power turned off. That's what this handy dandy little sticker says. So just make sure you turn your machine off before you switch probes. So now our machine is on. We just obviously just hit the power button there on the top to turn it on. So the end of my probe, we've got the little case here. 
This, this is just a micro-convex probe. The gray part is the most delicate part of your probe. Please be careful and try to cover that when it's not in use. So if I just push on my hand there, we can see we have an ultrasound image. On the front of your ultrasound, you have all of these buttons. And you, like I said, check out that other video going in depth more the, with these. You have a freeze button, a menu button, escape button. These are your zoom, the left and right arrows, and your focus changing is up and down arrows. You have an enter button, a measure button, a store and recall button. Pretty basic. We can go through those, like I said, in another video. But looking at your ultrasound screen, at the top you'll see the date. On the bottom, this is telling you what preset exam you're looking at. So this one is saying mode A. We always turn on to mode A, but if I press the exam button at the top, it changes and goes to preset mode B, C, D, and it goes all the way through there are eight preset exams. But like I said, it will always turn on to A. We can talk a little bit more about this. If you guys have questions, feel free to give us a call. The D is your depth. It is in millimeters. F is focus. It is also in millimeters. This is your wireless and device signals, and this is your battery. So those are what you're actually seeing on the screen. Like I said, if you want to know more about what happens when you do, when you hit the menu button and things like that, check out the other videos. We'll go into that more in depth. The last thing I want to highlight on this flex machine are the sides. These are our heat plates. So this is how this has an internal lithium ion battery in it. So that heat has to, as it's processing, has to come out somewhere. So these are those heat dissipation plates. There's a little warning sticker on there. They do get warm. That is normal. You want them to dissipate heat. So just make sure, depending on how you're set up and how your stands are, that these can have good airflow and have that heat dissipation through it. But if you have any other questions, just let us know.